For decades, Kawasaki has been synonymous with power, precision, and cutting-edge engineering. Motorcycles that blur the line between machine and adrenaline. Industrial robots that redefine automation. But what we're about to witness, well, it's something entirely different. Something that seems to have galloped straight out of science fiction and into reality. The whisper started months ago. Cryptic patents. Hushed rumors from within the Kawasaki Heavy Industries labs. The internet buzzed with speculation. What could they possibly be working on now? Another hyperbike? A revolutionary new industrial arm? Nobody, nobody predicted this. Look at it. The articulation. The curve. Fluid. Almost organic. This isn't some clunky automaton. This is crafted. Intentional. Forget gears and exposed wiring. Kawasaki has managed to integrate technology seamlessly into a form we instantly recognize. The power, the potential, it's all there, lurking beneath this metallic skin. Notice the fluidity, the way these segments connect and interact. This isn't just about mimicking a horse's shape. It's about capturing its essence of movement, the power coiled in those limbs. The body, it's a study in biomimicry. The contours, the subtle curves, it's as if they've taken the anatomy of a horse and translated it into a language of metal and hydraulics. What kind of power source drives this? What kind of intelligence guides its actions? These are the questions that are screaming in my mind right now. And the head, the focal point. It's not a cartoonish representation. There's a certain intensity in that gaze. What does it perceive? What is it capable of understanding? Standing before us is something truly unprecedented. A fusion of Kawasaki's legendary engineering prowess and a form that has captivated humanity for millennia. It's powerful, it's graceful, it's unsettlingly real. So what is this thing? Is it a technological marvel pushing the boundaries of robotics? A glimpse into a future where the lines between organic and artificial blur even further? Or is it something else entirely? A passion project? An artistic endeavor given metallic form? The unveiling has begun. We've seen the form. We've felt the initial shock. But the real questions, the why and the how, those are the mysteries we'll be delving into next. Stay with us. This story is just beginning. Beyond the looks, engineering marvel or gimmick, we've seen the stunning silhouette, the captivating form. But beneath that metallic skin, what secrets lie? Is Kawasaki's robot horse merely an aesthetic marvel? A striking piece of design? The materials themselves speak volumes. Notice the interplay of textures. The deliberate choice of finish. Are we looking at high-strength alloys designed for durability and performance? Or lighter, more flexible materials prioritizing agility? Kawasaki's expertise in material science, honed through decades of building high-performance machines, undoubtedly plays a crucial role here. Are we witnessing a sophisticated mimicry of equine gait, the powerful extension and retraction of muscles translated into hydraulic or electric actuation? Or is the movement designed for a different purpose entirely? Perhaps stability, manipulation, or a unique form of interaction we haven't yet conceived. Look closely at these integrated sensors. They're the eyes and ears of this mechanical creature. Are they designed for autonomous navigation? Object recognition? Perhaps even interaction with humans? Kawasaki's experience in industrial robotics suggests a high degree of sophistication in its sensory capabilities. Powering this complex machine is no small feat. What energy source does it rely on? High-capacity batteries for autonomous movement? An external power tether for sustained operation? Or perhaps Kawasaki has implemented a novel energy solution that remains unseen. The answer to this question will reveal much about its intended applications and operational capabilities. But beyond the individual components, it's the integration, the innovative engineering solutions that truly set this apart. Notice how seamlessly the mechanical elements blend with the biomimetic design. This isn't just about bolting parts together. It's about creating a cohesive, functional whole. Is this a glimpse into a new era of robotics, where form and function are not mutually exclusive, but rather elegantly intertwined. 
galloping into the future? Kawasaki's robot horse is here. The shock has settled. Now the burning question, what is it for? What potential applications could this groundbreaking creation unlock? Let's speculate on the possibilities. The future it might gallop into. Entertainment is an obvious avenue. Imagine interactive experiences, futuristic shows, or even a new kind of equestrian sport. The visual impact alone is undeniable. But could its applications extend beyond spectacle? Consider industrial uses, accessing difficult terrains, carrying payloads in environments unsafe for humans, or even assisting in construction or agriculture. Research is another compelling area. Studying animal locomotion in unprecedented detail, testing new materials and control systems, or even serving as a platform for AI development in dynamic environments. Could personal transportation be a distant possibility? Imagine a future where robotic steeds offer unique and perhaps even eco-friendly mode of travel. It sounds like science fiction, but Kawasaki is known for turning dreams into reality.